thank you for visiting Children's Emergency at KK Women's and Children's Hospital. Your child's head injury has been assessed by the doctor and they can be discharged for observation at home. Most head injuries are mild and not associated with brain injury and long-term complications. It is safe to go to sleep after a minor head injury. Mild headache, nausea and dizziness are common, especially during the first few hours. A large bump is common due to injury to the small blood vessels under the scalp. Apply an iced or cool pack to reduce swelling. Swelling will typically subside within 1-2 to two weeks. Paracetamol may be given for headache, but your child should be evaluated by a doctor if the headache worsens. Over the next 72 hours, monitor for the following signs and symptoms. Lethargy or irritability, unusual behaviour, inability to wake up from sleep, poor feeding, vomiting more than 4 times per day, seizures, decreased movements, bleeding or discharge from the ear or nose, abnormal breathing pattern. Additionally, in older children, confusion about familiar names and places, increasing or persistent headache, unsteadiness on feet, blurred or double vision. Do not give any medication that can cause drowsiness. Bring your child back to the children's emergency immediately should any of these symptoms develop. Skull X-rays help to identify skull fractures. It does not rule out bleeding within a skull or brain injury. Abnormal signs and symptoms are much more reliable indicators. If a skull X-ray has been done for your child and the results are normal, it is still necessary to monitor your child. If bleeding within a skull or brain injury is suspected, your child may need a CT scan. Minor head injuries do not require CT scans. Unnecessary scans can cause unnecessary exposure to radiation. Close supervision. Ensure the high chair your child uses is sturdy and fasten the seat belt when seated. Use an age-appropriate car seat. Appropriate and proper fitting footwear. Properly fitted protective helmet for activities like cycling, skating, skateboarding, rollerblading or using a skate scooter. Do not leave your baby unattended on an adult bed or baby cot without proper barriers. Do not use the sarong cradle. Do not use a baby walker. Avoid playgrounds that are poorly maintained or not safely designed. Do not forget to teach your child road safety habits and sports and recreational safety rules. We hope that this video has helped answer some of your questions. Do refer to the pamphlet for more information and consult the doctor if you have any concerns.